The small town of Powell is home to grain elevators, well-kept yards, and a charm found in many small towns. However, what is atypical in Powell is its jazz. Festivals and concerts and visits from big performers are frequent happenings here in this northern community. The epicenter of these musical events is Northwest College, where musician and teacher Neil Hansen shares his talent and his love of music with young musicians and the state of Wyoming at large. Neil talks about how he chose this particular career path. I remember being a junior in high school when someone, a director asked me to uh, explain a concept to another student and I was able to explain it better to him than it was explained to me and the student got it and or whatever it was I don't recall and there was a spark that went on. That spark transformed a love of playing music into a love of teaching music in the remoter parts of Wyoming. And having been out in the backwoods if you will of Wyoming teaching I saw what was not available and what was and coming from other areas I had these visions of things to help uh, educate kids and in this area if it doesn't exist it either isn't going to exist or you have to create it. Thanks to Neil's Midwestern ingenuity, jazz festivals and clinics are now thriving in the Bighorn Basin. Over the years, musicians such as Benny Carter and Clark Terry have shared their music with Wyoming's people at the annual Northwest Jazz Festival. What is Neil like? He grew up like on, on a farm, so he has this really dry sense of humor. He's just, he's really animated and he's... This is a little tough because I normally walk all over the place. There's never a dull moment with him. You know, he always carries his trumpet and he's got music going through his mind all the time. And I may joke around in rehearsals, but I'm dead serious about what I want to accomplish. You had it and then you left it. You were right there. Good. Students used to have a book of Neilisms that they called where they would write down all the funny things that Neil would say. You try to think of that sound right here behind your eyes. He told the trombones he wanted them to play like tiptoeing elephants. Yeah. Okay, the water was a little gurgling. I refer to that as Jacques Cousteau sound. Huh. He told one of our drummers one time he wanted him to play like a bunch of bumblebees or something. Not worry, everyone makes mistakes. Uh, but make a glorious one. You know, who says something like that? Like, but I try to make a connection to life because music is life and it, uh, and anytime you have uh, that kind of a connection, if you just kind of teach it sterile, it doesn't make any sense. They all, they all make perfect sense as to what he wants out of the music and then one, once we do it, it comes together really nicely. But it's like if we went it back into the sink with a water faucet coming out, okay? So you're doing a little bit of shutting the faucet off instead of just doing that. It's not bad. Uh, I learn as much from them as hopefully they learn from me. They're always involved in something else. I used to think that I could keep up on all the music that's out there, but it's impossible. So they're, they're always uh, exposing me to new and different things. I was, you know, there was some times when, when I'd be practicing and things would be going really well and then I'd hit sort of a plateau for a while and just things wouldn't be going too hot, you know, either things that were going in my personal life or family life and, and he, would, he would always tell me, you know, reassure me that, you know, depending on how you're feeling, you can always depend on how well you're going to play the horn, you know, that's why you got to take the most out of, out of everything you do in your life. Bow, 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 bow. We asked him what his favorite musical event was. And after thinking about it for about five seconds, because there's so many of them, um, basically I came to a realization that it's the next one. That's the most exciting one. So, and I keep thinking of, of what's next. And I have things coming up next month, the month after that, you know, and work to do to prepare for the one the next year and, and all those things, but that, that's what makes it fun. Neil Hansen, recipient of a 2007 Governor's Arts Award.